All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. We are on the back nine here at Montague Golf Club in Randolph, Vermont. This is the Montague Vermont Hickory Classic hosted by Alan Johnson, a really fun event on a beautiful golf course. Montague opened in 1913 as a nine-hole course and was expanded to 18 holes in 1992. Some hurricane damage, though, damaged the back nine, which you'll see here in a moment. This is the crew on hand for the 11th installment of this event. A lot of fun. Here's what's in the bag, sponsored by Stewart and Jacoby. As I mentioned on the front nine, I'm using an all-authentic bag these days, including five irons and two woods and my trusty Tom Stewart RTJ putter. And here is my ball, Callaway Super Soft. Here's the scorecard for the back nine. Totals out to be about 5,700 yards from the white tees. And number 10 is a pretty intimidating par three, 202 yards, but it starts in an elevated tee. Here's one of my playing partners, Jeff Blomstedt, showing us how it's done. And here's my other playing partner, Jim Pucci, following suit. And here's me. Still getting used to the single plane swing. This is actually a hybrid single plane swing. As I mentioned on the front nine, I'm uh, using parts of the single plane swing here, just trying to get used to it. Uh, if you watch my round at South Shore, you saw my chipping uh, was pretty bad with this new approach. But uh, so far in this round, I've been chipping pretty well. Here's a nice long putt from Jeff. Putting's been really good for me so far with the new single plane swing, as you saw on the front nine, and that continued on the back. Just read, misread that one there. Jim was putting really well, too. He's actually had some difficulty over the summer with his putter, but he was finding the groove in this round. Moving on to number 11, first par 5 on the golf course, 486 yards. Jim with a nice smooth swing there, gets him out in the fairway. I mentioned uh, there were some things that I was doing incorrect now that I've worked with this swing more. Uh, the biggest thing you're going to see here on the back nine is that I was just standing way too close to the ball. Uh, it, it produced too much of an upright stance. Um, the most part, I got used to the upright uh, stance at address with the irons uh, right away. Uh, I still needed to adjust some things from this round. Uh, but my big miss here was usually uh, topping the ball as you're going to see here with the Otto Hackbarth 2 iron. And uh, so, like I mentioned, uh, that was probably because I was standing too close to the ball. That was a good shot there with the Tom Morris mashie. And unfortunately, that's all I can show you this hole because the camera turned off on me and I wasn't able to get it back onto the next hole, which is the 12th par 4, short par 4, 298 yards with severe dog leg right. Usually you want to use an iron off the tee and just get yourself in the middle of the fairway, but I decided to hit my worst drive of the round. Pretty much a shank off the tee, but it's probably the only hole on the course where I could get away with such a horrendous shot because I ended up having a view of the green from the 11th hole here. And uh, just was able to get that next to this tree here uh, into a clearing using the mashie here to try to get this up on the green and just got an unlucky bounce into the bunker. Otherwise, that would have been a pretty good shot, I think. Here's the Walter Hagen Ironman sand wedge. Hit a pretty good shot with this on the front nine, and that wasn't too bad either. Jeff was hitting some great putts, just not getting lucky on, on a few of these here. Put that one away though, so moving on to 13, par 4, 390 yards. I have a subtle jog right here off the tee. Jeff with a perfect tee shot. And Jim with a pretty good tee shot of his own here, both of which uh, ended up in the middle of the fairway. This is the McGregor Master Brassy Fancy Face. I was going back and forth between this and a David Kinnell 18 degree splice neck Brassy to just try to figure out which one was working better for me. And uh, as of this point in the round, still hadn't figured that out. Here's one of my better shots of the day. That's with the Tom Morris Mashy yes. to get myself back into play. And I followed that up with the best shot of the day, in my opinion, for me. Mm 
did most everything correct there on that one, and I was able to bounce that up onto the green pretty close. Get there. Hmm. Nice approach from Jeff. This is a really pretty hole here. You got that barn in the back. Just a beautiful Vermont golf course. Um, I think it's sort of a hidden gem. I don't really hear much about Montague Golf Club aside from Alan's event. But uh, if you ever get up this way, definitely check this course out. It's beautiful. There's a great putt from Jim. He was really feeling it here on the back nine with the putter. Number 14 is a par four, 460 yards. Bit of a poke here. Tees uh, for the whites were set back behind the green uh, from number 13. So a little bit of an intimidating tee shot with the hickories. But Jeff manages just fine. I went back to the kennel brassy there and ended up hooking it into the weeds. I should mention too here that the event was modified Stableford scoring, so anything over a double bogey we were just picking up because we would be out of the points. That happened to me on quite a few holes in the front. It happened to me here on the back as well. But the name of the game here for me was just trying to get used to this new swing. Modified Stableford is a good event to do that with because if you blow up on one hole, you can just start all over on the next and not worry about your cumulative score. That was another good shot with the mashy. Bounced right up onto the green and put me in position for my highlight of the round. Can't complain about what the putter's doing with the single plane swing. It, it's really working for me. Number 15 is another short par four, 283 yards. It's feeling pretty good there after that nice putt and ended up following it up with my best drive of the day. That was with the David Kinnell 18 degree splice neck right down the middle. Start over. <laughs> yeah, it would have been nice to start the round over there after I'd figured out the brassy finally. Jim using a iron off the tee. Puts him in a perfect spot. <laughs> so I mentioned I was in the middle. I was off on the left side, but I was in the fairway, so that pretty close to the middle for me. <laughs> And there's another rough shot. That was with the mashy. And again here in short range, or from short range, using the mashy. Would have liked to get more out of that one. Barely made it up onto the green. So Jim found himself in some trouble here after his second shot. And that was a pretty good rescue from the weeds. See what he can do with that. Another long putt for me, another, another? <laughs> good putt, good putt. but another good approach. Like I said on the front nine, I don't think I did worse than a three putt on any hole, which is pretty good for me. Well, that's a great putt. Jim's definitely the highlight reel on the back nine here. Number 16, par four, 367 yards. We've got the White River on the left side of this hole. Jeff's not worried about that. He stays on the right side. Perfect. I Meanwhile, I feel like taking a closer look. If you watch the front nine, you saw me hooking this club quite a bit off the tee, and I did it again here. That ball's wet. Just got myself over the ridge with the mashy to get back in play. Here's a real pretty shot from Jeff. That might work. He's able to use the contours of the fairway going up to the green and roll that up. Good shot. There's another pretty view to look at. I hit that a little thin. The mashy approach is one shot that I haven't quite figured out yet with the single plane swing. It was the one thing I could do pretty consistent with my previous swing. Um, but... Uh, I'm getting closer to figuring out some rhythm with that, and that's what I'm working on in the off season. Yeah, that was a short putt that I should have made, considering how well I was putting. And there's a good putt from Jeff to clean things up. All right, number 17's par four, 376 yards. For some reason, I did not record my tee shot. Got Jeff's. It's a nice shot right up the fairway. 
I ended up on the left side here. I actually found this ball just short of the weeds, which was nice. Not the cleanest shot there, but I was able to get it into the fairway. And here's my best shot from the fairway with the Kennel splice neck. Still standing a little too close, but uh, got good contact on that. Was able to get it up toward the green. And here's a closer look at the chipping setup with the single plane swing. You see the open stance here and the club face is in line with the target. And it's mostly a putting stroke there. So like I said, I was getting a lot more comfortable with this, with that chipping approach. Uh, and uh, here's another good putt. It's not a bad way to wrap up that hole. Number 18, we're going home now. Par 4, 330 yards. This hole was actually completely demolished by Tropical Storm Irene in 2012, and they had to rebuild and remodel it. Uh, what I think they did with it, though, is pretty cool. That was the McGregor fancy face brassy off the tee that did not work for me. Here's another good iron shot off the tee from Jim. A little further left than he wanted, but he cleared the uh, berm up there. He's using the Tom Stewart Auto Hackbarth 2 iron there. Both of these shots, I believe. And uh, topping both of them, too. So on the front nine, I used this Robert County Mashie Niblick to tee off on the par 3 ninth, and I shanked my first shot into the woods, which I didn't show you. But that's pretty much what I did that I didn't show you. So that club's for sale. So from the weeds, I'm already out of the scoring on this hole. Just trying to get up toward the green to finish things out. But that's when my camera decided it just had enough, and I wanted to lay on its back and stare at the beautiful sky. So we'll just leave things there. That'll wrap up this round for Montague Golf Club. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next week with another video. And in the meantime, here are two others from my archive for you to check out. As always, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.